Travis Gotti, we're here with True School Sports. All right, Demarcus. Um, I wanted to ask you a couple of things about uh, just you know your uh, your career. I wanted to start with the uh, the Mayweather fight, very a very entertaining fight between you and Floyd. Uh, one one thing I always wanted to know was you know Floyd, it's it's very hard to make Floyd Mayweather fight toe to toe. Um, just kind of get him to deviate away from him from from boxing. How did, how are you able to in rounds three and four of that fight uh, get him to fight toe to toe and and not just that but hurt him as well. The game plan for that fight was to make Floyd exchange with me. We know Floyd is not a power, and um, he don't carry a lot of power with his punches. His punches are accurate, but they're not shots that hurt you. The plan was to get Floyd to exchange with me because I am a stronger fighter than him. We got Floyd the first four rounds to exchange. And uh, we heard him, and we were going to go for the knockout. We knew I can't outbox Floyd. That's 100%. There's no one out there that can outbox him. Him is to fight him. And he knows he doesn't carry punching power, so he's very smart. And has the skills to outbox anyone. His plan is to hit and not get hit. Okay. Um uh... You, you you had a chance to spar him a couple of times. I know sparring and fighting are a lot different, but uh, do you feel like now, as you've been as as you've been sparring Floyd, that maybe like if you were to, if you if hypothetically speaking, if you were to have fight Floyd, that you you would be better suited to fight him, just because you're older and you say you feel a lot better. Yeah, I'll be much better if he can make the weight that we want to fight at, one forty-seven. Okay. So like 154, maybe? I'll fight him at 140. Oh, 140, okay, 140, all right. Makes sense. But yeah, no, that, that fight to me was always really entertaining because there's very few people that have land, you know, flush on floor with that kind of power and have, have forced him to fight for not just one round but multiple rounds. I think, you know, you, uh, Kodo, and probably Maidana are the only three games that come to mind off the top of my head that have been able to really make Floyd fight for an, ex an extended period of time. He has proved the fact that he can take a punch. He got a chin. Oh, he's got an underrated chin. Pretty underrated. Oh, and another thing. But another thing. Okay. If you notice, he made me wear winning boxing gloves. He didn't let me wear Reyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I remember that, too, because I was watching the fight the other day, and I was like, doesn't Corley usually wear the, the Clayto Reyes gloves? And I, I was like, wow, this fight, that, that, that was kind of weird to me. So what what kind of effect did that have on you, punching wise? We we requested Reyes boxing gloves for that fight, but they he was the A side. He dictated I gotta wear winning. Wow. Okay. And the, the, the... that lets you know that there, there was there was worry in my punching power. <laughs> but but what kind? How 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 did the uh, the, the new gloves affect your punching power? Like. Did the gloves feel a certain way to where you couldn't snap your punches or kind of turn them the way you want them, or how, how did how did that um affect your punches? No, the winning boxer gloves are made in Japan. They have more padding and they have better padding inside the gloves compared to Reyes and Grant. Wow. Okay. So he he knew that. Probably he probably knew that himself. That's why I told you to wear them. Of course. Okay. Wow, man. Uh, That's why he trained in the gloves. Yeah. He, he trained in them. 